In today's video, I would like to show a new way to drive your ferro fluid, such as to reduce your current requirements, move heavily dilute droplets, and move with incredible pulling strength. Rather than applying large amounts of current to a solenoid to cause attraction, I merely invert the field strength of a particular ferritic screw head already placed in a continuous magnetic field. This requires only around 100 milliamps of current to perform, and requires no power output once the droplet has been successfully maneuvered. Instead of wrapping my own electromagnets this time, I decided to use the cores of microsolenoids that were already on the market. Since the cores themselves are not available for purchase, I instead had to disassemble the solenoids myself. For this video, I'm reusing boards from my previous Ferrobot tutorial, since the spacing for the solenoids was roughly the same as that of the electromagnets. However, I will not be using the rest of the board. As you notice, I taped up the back since there are so many wires coming out, and attached a permanent magnet in order to cause attraction on the offstate. I also used a cardboard box in order to stabilize the board and ensure a uniform height. I then soldered together some switching boards, one that acts as the wires since I don't want to solder the solenoids directly to any board in particular, as I do intend to reuse them. I also shortened one of each solenoid lead together, as I intend to apply current in the direction opposing the offstate magnetic field. Applying current in the same direction as the offstate magnetic field encourages the direction of motion of the drops, but also overcomplicates the circuit. The rest of the board is pretty much the same as my previous designs, however I moved away from MOSFETs to uh, NPN BJTs because I have so much lower current requirements. This makes the boards cheaper and also easier to make a compact design. So you can tell I ended up switching up my design at the very end. All those wires was making it very hard to debug, so I switched to a more simple concept for this uh, tutorial. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'll conclude with some more footage of drops moving. My apologies for the lack of content in the last few weeks, so I'm persisting with this as a startup, and because of this, I had to take a break in order to get some funding for some product development. Um, this is all sort of getting finalized right now, and so you can expect to have videos and tutorials like this once again released week to week. I also want to branch out into things more than just ferrofluids and uh, digital microfluidics, so expect content that's a little bit more diversified in the future.